What are the market directions going forward? Is the 2017 prediction of property prices doubling by 2030 turning into a reality? And of course, the most common question that I have always been hearing throughout my 18 years in the real estate industry is now the right time to buy a property. Ladies and gentlemen, this is PK So from PNN Huttons. As we emerge from the pandemic in year 2023, the property market in Singapore is in a state of flux with escalating rent, new benchmark prices in both HDB and private properties and tightening government policies. Many are left wondering if they have already missed the boat to own an asset as Singapore transforms. Sometimes the best way to move forward is to seek clarity by looking back. Now, in this episode of PNN Property Insights, let's join me and Aisha as we travel back in time to help you understand how we got here. Yes, indeed, PK. I remember you have shared this before. Many of your clients entered the new homes market last year when they understood how the real estate market had evolved since 2016. Well, if we recall between 2016 to 2018, Singapore experienced an on block fever and record bidding prices for government land sales. This slew of activities eventually resulted in more than 21,000 available units during the supply peak in May 2019. In fact, to the surprise of many, earlier in April 2017, Morgan Stanley stuck its head out and predicted that Singapore property prices would double by 2030. This growth is based on an estimated 5% annual increase on a per square foot basis from 2018 to 2030. Bear in mind this bold prediction came at a time when the average new home prices across the island was around $1,500 per square foot. That report suggested that in the long run, it is household formation rate that will influence the demand for housing. Essentially, it offsets the impact of slower headline population growth. Household formation rate is driven by singles and shifting profile of foreign labor towards higher skilled workers. So what were your clients' thoughts regarding this report back in 2017, PK? Yes, Aisha, I recall back in 2017 when I presented Morgan Stanley's report to my clients, many were skeptical. Then, in February 2018, a 1% rate hike in buyer stamp duty was introduced for the value of homes above $1 million. Many analysts view that as more as a progressive wealth tax than the cooling measure as the impact was minimal. Three months later, in May 2018, DPS Bank predicted that new private homes would cost up to $2,900 per square foot on average by 2030, sharply higher than the average of $1,500 per square foot at that time. This would mean that an average unit of private property will cost from $1.9 million to $2.5 million by 2030. Bear in mind that the bold prediction of Morgan Stanley and DBS came at a time when the market was just starting to see a turnaround after Singapore's private home prices had fallen for 14 consecutive quarters from its previous peak in Q2 2013. Question to you, ladies and gentlemen, is back in 2018, when you saw an onslaught of project launches coming up in the next couple of years, did you take the optimistic bank predictions seriously or simply brush it off as a hype? Or did you take action and position yourself to ride the wave for the next decade? Or did you fear for an oversupply and were convinced by naysayers to stay on the sideline? Yes. Many of these naysayers are currently silent and disappear from the media because the facts so far have proven them wrong. In 2019, we saw several project launches, slow sales, new record per square foot prices, and high inventory. Many questioned if a property crash was imminent. Fast forward to March 2020, just one month before the COVID circuit breaker in Singapore, we presented these key milestones in Singapore for the next decade. We also deciphered possible implications when we reached the different milestones. While there were some delays of events, such as GST hikes and Thompson East Coast 9 completion due to COVID-19, what took many of us by surprise was the rapid demand of real estate and influx of wealth into Singapore due to fast changing geopolitical reasons. Such turn of events has not only convinced 
consumers to accept new levels of pricing island-wide, it has also proven that Morgan Stanley's prediction in 2017 is well on track. So I thought perhaps it would be helpful now to relook at this estimate of property prices based on the 5% year-on-year increase in different regions. Let's take a look at the data. Now the table shows the predicted average price for new homes between 2018 to 2030 according to the different regions. Orchard Road has already exceeded $4,000 per square foot. Bukit Timah is hovering close to $3,000 per square foot. And clearly, not only are we well on track for the prices of the different regions, such as CCR, Core Central Region, some places, especially the OCR and RCR, have already outpaced the prediction by two to three years in advance. For example, Lantor has already crossed $2,400 per square foot, and Passeries has already crossed $2,000 per square foot. Now, let's fast forward to the present. The unsold private housing inventory is at a 15-year low. New on-block deals have been done, and more GLS sites are up for tender. In this round of replenishing their land banks, developers seem to be treading on more cautious grounds against a backdrop of rising construction costs. As the world moves forward from the pandemic and as more wealth gathers in Singapore, we expect strong demand to persist. The cooling measures implemented on 27th of April 2023 are intended to put a break on escalating prices, especially due to foreigners' demand. In fact, such preventive measures give further assurance to stakeholders that property prices are stable and would not end up with drastic ups and downs as seen in other countries. The transition to a post-pandemic world establishes a new base in Singapore home prices. Yes, a new base from which momentum continues to propel forward tracking Morgan Stanley's prediction. Just like any kind of investment, there could be minor ups and downs along the way, but many stakeholders of real estate in Singapore can be assured by the prudent cooling measures put in place to make sure that there's steady growth in tune with economic fundamentals. In fact, in our daily work with our clients, we had established many real-life case studies of those who had entered the market from 2016 to 2018 and who have made respectable gains. We took into account their capital outlay such as down payment, property tax, maintenance fees, stamp duties, loan interest, and projected the exit strategy with estimated CAGR returns. Interestingly, as we back-tested this data and compared with their actual realized gains, we noticed a close correlation. In fact, you could reach out to us to craft out a detailed exit strategy for your upcoming purchase based on your needs and unique financial circumstances. So, is it the right time to buy in 2023? Perhaps, let me put back the question to you. Would you have entered the market three years ago, knowing how the market has transformed today? But back then, were you similarly held back by fear and uncertainty just like you are now? Interestingly, some of my clients who asked me the same question 10 years ago are still on the sideline because even during the period of market correction, they continue to be fearful. You see, the market is never the problem. The root cause for being indecisive is fear caused by a lack of in-depth analysis with an experienced real estate partner. If you're still watching this presentation now, you know you need to work with someone who is analytical and able to present the facts clearly. We may be strangers now, but don't forget that many of our close friends were once strangers too. So do reach out to embark on this exciting journey together. Real estate is a long-term investment and requires an in-depth analysis of the different segments of the market. Reach out to us to examine the important Singapore milestones ahead in this decade and what it means for you as a property owner. If you have not done so, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more episodes coming up. And I look forward to meeting you in person to work on your real estate needs. This is PK So from PNN Huttons. I look forward to seeing you soon.